Hi there everyone and welcome to this video. What we're going to talk through today is the budgeted fixed asset functionality on the fixed asset ledger in Business Central. Okay, so what you can use this for is uh, just budgeting fixed assets on your fixed asset ledger in Business Central. Um, and I guess you can use it to maybe account for future purchases that you're going to make on your fixed assets. So let's get into it. Um, just to start, what I'm going to do is come into my fixed assets and uh, what we'll do is just set up a new fixed asset, which is going to be our budgeted fixed asset. So let's go car and I'm going to say budgeted asset here. Um, and I'm just going to quickly run through some of the fields here that we've got for setting up a fixed asset. Um, and 131.25. Sorry, that's what I meant to do. Um, so now you can see that I'm ready to acquire the fixed asset. And uh, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to mark this asset as a budgeted asset. Okay, so you can see the Boolean here basically tells me that the asset um, here that we're on is for budgeting purposes okay um, so that's all of the setup that we need to do um, i've said that i'm going to buy this at the beginning of next year um, and i've said that it's a budgeted asset okay so that's all of the config all the setup that we need to do and what we can then do next is we can go ahead and start um, posting transactions against this right so um, if i go to a page here called the fixed asset journal um, and those of you guys that um, sort of may have used the, the fixed asset ledger before will know that you have the fixed asset journal which is not integrated into the general ledger uh, or you have the fixed asset general ledger journal uh, which is indeed integrated into the gl so um I'm just going to use the fixed asset journal for this because it's just a budgeted um, fixed asset. We don't want to post these transactions to the general ledger. Not yet. Anyway, um, it's just there for budgeting purposes. OK, um, and just going to change that to be the first of us 25. I've got my fixed asset in the fixed asset number column there. Um, and we've said the amount is 100,000. And of course, because um, this is a fixed asset journal, it's not integrated to the general ledger. So we don't need to insert a balancing account here. OK, uh, so let me go ahead here and post my fixed asset here, um, the, uh, the acquisition against my fixed asset. And over here now, if I go to my fixed asset card, you can see that I have a book value in here as well okay so uh, I've now got my book value assigned within the um, FA ledger entries for my fixed asset okay so in the same way you can go ahead and calculate depreciation for this particular fixed asset as well um, so uh, it will work with regards to depreciation in the same way as your other fixed assets okay um, so I can just run my calculate depreciation. If I wanted to, I could input a filter for budgeted asset, a particular asset, or I can say where budgeted asset is equal to yes. OK, so we don't need to run through posting that. But if I just very quickly show you at the end of January 2025, Here, if I calculate depreciation and bear in mind here I've put in a filter where budgeted asset is equal to yes and it tells me that two journal lines were created and here is the fixed asset that we're working with here so um, car budgeted asset here and you can see that I've got my uh, depreciation amount that's come through and I can post this journal just as I would any other journal and that will transfer to my fixed asset okay so let me just post that journal oh, sorry I've got a bit of an error here let me just change this document number take that line and just post ok 
Okay, and here now, if I go back to my fixed asset here, you can see that I've got a depreciation line in here as well, okay? So you can basically post all of those types of transactions for your budgeted fixed assets if you wanted to. Um, and then what you can do is you can also run reports on your budgeted fixed assets. So if I go to my fixed asset book value or one report here, I can say that I want to run the, the report for my budgeted fixed assets. OK, so if I just input my date filters here as January 2025, and let me say preview. I'll have my values in here. And sorry, let me just run that per fixed asset. And again here, the one that we're focusing on is my car budgeted asset, which is fixed asset number 120. And you can see here, I've got my addition in period. I've got my depreciation in period and so on here as well. Then I've got my book value as at the end of the date of the report, the ending period. So other reports that I can run here are the projected value. So if I go FA projected uh, value, fixed asset projected value, I can basically run the report here with some date filters. And again, I'm going to print per fixed asset. And if I just go preview here, if I just zoom in, you can see here I've got my car, my budgeted asset in there. Um, as well there so I can see that that is a budgeted asset and I can see the book value as well. Okay so one of the other clever things that I can do when I'm working with budgeted fixed assets is the ability to um, move entries from your fixed asset um, budgeted fixed asset ledger rather to your general ledger budget okay so in order to do this um, what I can do is go to my depreciation books here and I find the relevant depreciation book that I'm working with and if I come in say actions functions and copy FA entries to GL budget what this does is it gives me a um, report request page on which I can input some filters and I can say I want to um, copy these FA entries to my GL budget. Okay, so I'm going to say 010125, 013125, and I can put in some other details here. And then I can tell BC, look, I want to copy the acquisition cost, the depreciation, and so on. And if I wanted to, I could filter down here, here into saying budgeted asset where that's set to yes, for example. Um, and I've set the budget that I want to copy to in this particular field. So when I go ahead and press OK, it should just copy those entries across. So now if I come into my GL budget screen and if I go into my test GL budget here, what I can do is just change my period. Let's go 25, 25. And then over here on this report, let me just change those filters a little bit more here. And let's see if we can get our fixed assets. So here we go. Look, we've got some entries in here where I've got my 100,000 acquisition. And then I think uh, we posted some depreciation for two separate fixed assets. But this entry and this entry here are linked to the um, transaction that we posted, uh, the acquisition, the depreciation that we posted on our budgeted fixed asset. So if you wanted to, you could also copy across things like department and uh, customer, customer group. And uh, obviously I didn't put in a uh, description in here, but um, that is available to us uh, if we need to.
um, use that. Okay, so that's everything that I wanted to show you guys. I hope you found that useful. Thanks for watching and uh, I'll see you on the next one.